When you were at the Wall Street Journal, you covered China. You're in China right now. You're in Hong Kong right now. Um, and of course, that's the straw man that we they're all using to say, yeah. well, we've got to do this because if we don't, the Chinese are going to eat our lunch. Is that true? Well, I mean, yeah. So what I was saying about the existential competition between good versus evil empires. Yeah. So China <laughs> is conceived of as the evil empire in this narrative. And what I always like say is, I mean, literally look at the track record that this argument has gotten us. Silicon Valley has said, if you do not regulate us and then you regulate China through export controls, then China's progress will be totally obliterated and the U.S. will dominate and we will successfully widen the gap between U.S. and Chinese AI. And Silicon Valley will have a liberalizing force on the world and we will see democracy strengthen everywhere and it'll be amazing. And literally the opposite has happened. Like you could not, you could not write the story to be more oppositional to that argument, right? Like <laughs> the gap has actually shrunk dramatically between the US and China as yes. Washington has implemented exactly this approach. And Silicon Valley has had an illiberalizing force around the world and mm. democracies are capitulating everywhere, you know, and, and like <laughs> the U.S. itself is capitulating as a democracy. 